Kirby's Pinball Land was released for the Game Boy in 1993. Presumably because Kirby is round, someone thought it would be a good idea to turn him into a pinball and the world he inhabits into pinball tables. And you know what? It actually works. There are essentially two things needed for a good digital pinball game. First, physics. Normally, one would prefer hyper-realistic pinball physics in their digital pinball. But this is the Game Boy in 1993. Instead, Kirby feels slightly oversized and is a bit on the floaty side. Both of these things work in our favor. You rarely feel like you are losing your pinball down the outlanes or the drain because of poor board design or bad pinball physics. The flippers also feel good and it's easy to aim the Kirby ball. The second necessary item for a good digital pinball game is good table design. Kirby's Pinball Land has three good tables. Again, they aren't good in a realistic sort of way, they are good in a tiny Game Boy screen kind of way. Each table is three screens high. The bottom screen of each table has two different things to accomplish. The first is getting a boost to the second screen. This is the most helpful as it allows you to make progress on the table. Or you can go for a warp star, which takes you back to the table select screen. The middle screen of each table also has a couple of different goals. There is another warp star, but this one brings you to a special stage to earn additional bonus multipliers and points. And of course, a second goal which is to progress to the third screen. These middle screens are imaginative. Here, you have to hit the cloud a certain amount of times, and when you do, the cloud will start raining. The rain causes Kirby to take out his umbrella. If you hit the umbrella, you'll get a boost to the third screen. How awesome is that? Here, on this table, there is a slot machine. If you manage to get three Kirbys, the big Kirby will throw you up to the next level. Again, awesome. On the final table, you have to hit the Kirby on the left to have him spit out an item. If you hit the Kirby on the right, it'll suck that item up. Your goal is to get the Kirby to spit out a specific item that will toss Kirby up to the third screen. It's seriously fun. The third screen on each table in Kirby's Pinball Land is where you have a chance to get to the boss. Again, these are fairly imaginative. Here, you have three eggs. Your goal is to hit each egg enough times for the chick to hatch. Once three chicks return to the coop, you must hit the star that comes down. If you do, you are off to the boss. On this table, you must hit the sun a certain amount of times, which will then change the playfield to night. You must then hit the moon enough times for the boss star to make an appearance. Hit that star, and you are, again, off to the boss. I find the table designs in Kirby's Pinball Land to be incredibly imaginative and incredibly fun. It's not too difficult to figure out what to do to progress, and you'll be making progress in no time. I haven't really played many Kirby games in the past, but most of what you see on the screen should be references to Kirby's first outings, including Kirby's Adventure and Kirby's Dreamland. If you really enjoyed those titles, you should enjoy seeing items and foes being reimagined into pinball tables. The graphics are very clean, and despite a lot of things going on the screen at once, it somehow never feels cluttered. Kirby's Pinball Land is well designed. The audio is also solid, featuring memorable 8-bit tunes that never get old despite their simple, repetitive nature. As an interesting side note, this game was released two years before the Super Game Boy debuted, but most definitely has a custom color palette, as you see in the video. 
Kirby's Pinball Land excels at being a fun digital pinball title. It's a very accessible game for those new to the genre. Pinball fans should enjoy the well-designed tables and solid controls. Non-pinball fans should enjoy the non-traditional rule set and familiar Kirby settings. If you're looking for a new 8-bit gem to add to your collection, be sure to check out Kirby's Pinball Land.